When I was younger, when my mom would do laundry, she'd sit me on top of the washing machine, or this ghetto old washing machine. And on the rinse cycle, it'd go But I would dance to it. Oh, and rhythm too. So my mom looked at me, she's like, how does he have rhythm? He's just a baby. And she goes, I'm gonna call him the beat child. So she called me beat child, and I've been using that ever since. Just keep I worry sometimes that I might be confusing people because I have different sounds, different images, I guess. The Beat Child is a, is a soul hip-hop artist. The sound is just electronic beats, soulful, soulful vibe. Then there's the Slackadelics, which is, which is myself as well, but it's more live instruments. It's more classic rock influenced. And then I have The Art of Fresh, which is myself and Dio. And uh, that sound is, that's another direction too. It's like upbeat and it's really danceable, it's really fun. So that's the art of fresh. Producer, I, I don't want to be pigeonholed into a hip hop producer. You know, I've worked with artists in many different genres. I've been nominated for five or six Junos. I've won one Juno with the Vine Brown record that I did. I produced four songs on her record, one with Nelly Furtado, which was a big single, Sunglasses. I've also worked with uh, Drake, who's he's huge now. Um, did a lot of writing with him. Justin Ozuka, Aya, Tona. Melanie Durant. I work with a lot of people. I really enjoy producing, actually, I really do. Tingsek is a Swedish artist, songwriter, producer, and I discovered his music three years ago. The first song, the first like five seconds, I was blown away. And then it just kept getting better and better. I couldn't believe it. It's something I've never heard in my life. It blew me away. At one point, I, I had to contact the guy just to tell him how amazing the music is. So I contacted him. I sent him some of my music as well. And next thing you know, I was in Sweden. Oh, I'd love to be around this particular place I found. So full of love and possibly the most positive fields of energy. It's a world of its own in here. We get to love each other deep. Excited about this tour. It's going to be myself, Tingsek, and uh, Ibrahim from BC. We have Sarnia, Toronto, and Montreal. So, you know, I, th I thought it would be a cool idea to kind of combine these different minds and bring everybody together and just introduce, you know, my fan base to these guys. Wow. 
I put Sarnia on the list just because I grew up there and I want to do a free little show for everybody. You know, kind of update, like this is where I'm at right now, this is the sound of my music. Because it's changed a lot since I was last in Sarnia. This next song we're gonna do is one of my tunes, and uh, the video is out on Much Music on YouTube. I just released the remix of this song with featuring Drake. So let's do it. All right, let's get it nice and upbeat. Enjoy Yourself, that song is real special to me. That's basically one of my biggest songs that, that's known internationally. I just had that line in my head going, enjoy yourself, for the longest time. I was waiting for the opportunity to marry it with the right music and you know the right situation. Um, when I started working on my album Soul Movement Volume 1, I was in a studio session with Aya and uh, I said, Aya, I need your help with the song. I sung the hook and uh, we wrote it and the rest is history. <laughs> music since I was, uh, I don't know, 14 years old and I uh, always knew that that was what I was going to do. Byron contacted me via MySpace, uh, I think like almost two years ago, the first time. And uh, he, was, he heard my music through a friend who gave him like a compilation of music and my music was on there for some reason. And uh, he fell in love with my music and I fell in love with his music and I could just instantly tell that we, we have to work together. Do it right now. I got my mindset on you. I got my mindset on you. I've been working a lot more with uh, with beats, beat oriented, beat oriented music, and uh, like drum machines and stuff like that. A lot. Of I've been working more with acoustic acoustic instruments. So that's a new thing for me. <clears throat> but it's not only that, it's just he's got something special that only he has, you know. He's got something that uh, I think is amazing and it's just an inspiration to work with him. Okay, one, <clears throat> two, one, key. I got my mindset on you. 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 Mono was one of my favorite shows because the energy was really special. It's funny. I was nervous for the Sarnia show, but the Toronto show, which had way more people, was you know, a bigger event, I was not nervous at all. Yeah, I lace up. All my people lace up. Uh. Now stretch. Now stretch it out. So move me. I see a b-boy breaking like he owns to flow Think he ill cause he doing power moves galore But yo, watch out, hate these crews hardcore So think twice if you about to hard flow But uh, 
up, this sucker don't understand Up in they face like I'm sick of man Every crew in the spot, calling out Hands in the air like who want it now? I see a b-boy breaking like he owns the flow Think he ill cause he doing power moves galore But yo, watch out, hate these crews hardcore So think twice if you bout to harm the flow But uh, this sucker don't understand Up in they face like I'm sick of man Every crew in the spot, he calling out But they block him out, they block him out Yeah, they block him out, they block him out Cause we came here to have a good time B-boy, be faint on our mind We came here to have a good time B-boy, be faint on our mind On our mind, on our mind Chill out, yo, relax and have a good time B-boy beef I just shot the video for it I'm, I'm so pumped for this one I think we really captured the vibe of the song with the video And uh, it was real fun, you know Me and Mark okay, Andre DeGran Who directed it came up with the concept and we kind of wanted to mash up old vibe with a new vibe because there wasn't really great dancing in the early 70s but the vibe of the video was kind of throwback it was like four foot five philippine eye short dark hair with these pretty green eyes new to the city but a vet to the flow they respect her for show she the next one to blow but uh b girls can be mean girls when they realize every boy want to meet her so they treat her like the earth beneath their feet thinking they intimidate because they roll a deep yeah